Hey guys, quick video showing access to the Y axis and removing the uh, Y axis bellows on a PCNC 1100. So, if you're like me and don't like to read manuals, you know, and you want to go adjust your, uh, your Gibbs on your Y axis, uh, you're not going to read the manual and you're uh, going to walk up to the machine after having referenced it and uh, wonder where your uh, the access screws are. Well, to remove the uh, front bellows cover, you're going to go over here, jog the machine back, and you can see I've already actually removed them. But in order to access the screws, you're going to remove this cover, which uh, there are Allen screws in these four holes here. So you can remove that cover. And then this cover here is going to be slid back against the machine and there are going to be three screws down in here that are going to be a Phillips head and you can remove them and same story they're going to be back in the bellows here see one screw hole there three screws and then you'll be able to access the give adjustment screw so here you can see that the uh, final screw has been removed and the bellows cover has been slid back and then you're going to be able to see the uh, taper give adjustment screw right down in that hole there so that's what you're going to adjust if you want to remove some of the backlash all right thanks for watching all right next thing you're probably going to be confounded by is if you have a flat uh, there's no obvious way to get in there and uh, reach those screws um, Really the way this is uh, situated is you've got an assembly here, these two aluminum pieces sandwich uh, this neoprene cover and it's actually installed on the machine on the axis so that uh, those screws are pointing inward so it's hard to reach your hand under there and get to it. The way you dress that is, uh, and this took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to find, you have to actually jog the machine back so that the cover kind of pops up and then you'll be able to access the screws that are in the same location. Um, if you already have your Y flap installed, they're actually uh, hex screws instead of Phillips screws. So at that point, once you get the front removed, you can kind of peel that back, kind of roll that under there is what I did. And then you'll be able to jog the machine table forward. And then you'll be able to remove three screws in here. Two of them are actually uh, probably part of that cover, but there's just a third screw in the center here that uh, will allow you to peel this cover back and access the Gibbs screw that is right under here.